All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily play with RTX, the ray tracing effects inside of Minecraft Bedrock. So to do this, you have to first go to the marketplace. This is the way to do it cheaply and uh, for free and look up RTX. If you have an RTX enabled graphics card, these will show up for you. And these are the free proof of concept uh, ray tracing maps from NVIDIA. And then just pick one of these that looks like fun, like the Observer here. Download this map for free, give it a play, and then you will have the built-in ray tracing texture pack for Minecraft Bedrock. You can get other ones out there on the marketplace by just buying them. You can also find them out on the web. There are a handful of ray tracing enabled texture packs for Minecraft Bedrock that come in an MC pack file format that you can then double click and install. And then once you've got this set up, you've got that downloaded, you can go back to the home page. You can create a new one based on that map that you just downloaded. I've got a few of them. So you can play with this one here. And you can create this world into one that you can play, create and then load into it. And then you'll have gotten the texture pack all nice and downloaded and ready to go. Once you've played with that at least once, you can then go to your worlds here, back to play and then your worlds. And then you can say, grab the ocean ruins map that I've got here and I can edit it. Then I can go to resource packs and then I can go from active, which should only be showing the default Minecraft texture pack. You can go to available, go to owned, and then inside of here, you should see one of the RTX packs that you downloaded based upon whatever map. So in this case, here's the radiant pack RTX. There's also the OSMP RTX texture pack. Whichever one you want to use, just grab it. I'll use the Radiant Pack, and I'll activate that. And when you activate it, it'll now be active here inside of your texture packs. And you can change the settings there to have fog on or off for the texture pack to make it seem smooth and blended in the background. And now, at least on my personal playthrough of Bedrock, I will have the Radiant Texture Pack. You can also make it required for your friends to have this pack as well when they play with you. So you could toggle this on and then your friends would have to download this texture pack as well in order to play with you. And they would also have RTX enabled if they have an RTX texture pack or not, not a texture pack, but graphics card. Then with this enabled, I can then play on my random playthrough server here called the Ocean Ruins, and everything will be RTX ray tracing enabled. And there you go. You can see everything's glowy as if I have the RTX, well, not as if I have the RTX, because I have RTX enabled. And then I can fly around and I can enjoy all of the cool reflective effects that come with having ray tracing enabled inside of the ocean, which is actually a really great place to do it because all of the coral glows. And then if you're close enough to the surface as well, you can also see the reflections of the coral in the water above you while you're swimming around. And then if you want to disable this, you can just save and quit and go back to the settings for the ocean ruins. And you can go back to resource packs and just click remove in order to disable it because you can use this to switch out to any of the packs that you own and use them if you'd like. So yeah, that has been a brief look at how to enable ray tracing on your personal maps inside of Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Um, you can do this with Java too. You just got to download like a really nice shader pack and it's essentially the same thing. I don't know that all, any of them necessarily 
directly utilizes just ray tracing for their effects, but there's a lot of effects that look very similar. And I will do a video guide for more information on my top five recommended shader packs that you can use with Minecraft Java Edition later. So that's it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.